As recently retired police chief Mark McMurray continues his public support campaign backing former officer William Darby. Last year, a jury convicted Darby of murder in the shooting death of Jeffrey Parker while on duty in 2018. Darby is appealing that conviction. Tonight, Way 31's Matt Kroschel dives deeper into the national nonprofit organization featuring Darby's defense and the former chief's new video message. Matt's repeatedly asked former Chief McMurray to agree to a sit-down interview to talk about his retirement and time leading North Alabama's largest police force. Those requests so far have gone unanswered. Matt joins us live in the studio now with a story that's all new and only on Way 31. Matt. McMurray took a lot of heat when he and Mayor Tommy Battle made it known early on in this case that made national headlines they supported Darby. The Huntsville police officer charged with murder when he shot Parker as officers responded to Parker's suicidal calls for help. City leaders continue to stand by Darby and believe he was wrongfully convicted of Parker's murder. As we have reported, those officials say Darby was following police, city, policies and procedures. Now retired, McMurray now lending his voice and support to Darby as his appeal works its way through the courts. Appearing on video wearing his official City of Huntsville Police Department embroidered shirt for a social media video post for the nonprofit Pro First Responder, the Resiliency Project site. I am recently retired Huntsville Police Chief Mark McMurray and I stand with former Huntsville Police Officer William Ben Darby. According to their website, the Resiliency Project's mission is to end the silent suffering of the nation's first responders by providing peer support, advocacy, and funding for treatment, recovery, and psychological services in an effort to treat post-traumatic stress, build resilience, and end suicide. Darby's wife, you see her on screen there, is also featured in the series of short video posts about Darby's case. She thanks supporters who are contributing to that defense. I reached out to the city of Huntsville to ask for a comment about the former chief's use of his city provided police logoed shirt in that video and they said they did not have a comment. As for Darby, the appeal states the evidence supported the idea that Darby acted reasonably when he used deadly force. His defense is asking for the conviction to be overturned on the grounds that jury instructions key to Darby's defense were denied and there was a lack of evidence to support the conviction. In the studio, Matt Croshill, Way 31 News.